Hello, I'm Dr. Chin. Today, we will focus on sternum. We will go over how to scan and position to perform a sternum scan because it has three parts. This upper part is our manubrium. Then come to the middle part. It's our sternum body. The last part here is the xiphoid process because it's in the middle of your body. So when we're scanning in this position, we can place the probe in the middle of the sternum and aligning between the nipples. Place the probe horizontally. Let's choose MSK for the preset. Adjust the depth to about 3 centimeters to start. If necessary, you can adjust setting in this device. Adjust the focus to the surface of the bone to start the scan. Generally, it is recommended to scan in transverse view. Let's move the probe to a higher position. This is the manubrium appearing in the image. You can see it looks like an arc structure. Now, let's continue to scan down a little. After passing this junction, the sternum part is relatively flat. We can see a sliding structure. On both sides, this would be the pleura. Continue to scan, since this part is flat. So if there is a fracture, we can use ultrasound to see. If there is a high and low difference, to identify whether or not it's a fracture. As you continue to scan to deeper parts, because it is soft tissue, so it's not as easy to scan in this part. Now we can turn the probe to the sagittal view to start scanning from top to down. Let's start scanning with the manubrium. Slowly slide down. This part looks like a small valley in the screen. This is the manubrium, the junction of the sternum. Now let's continue to scan. The sternum surface is a very flat cortical line. Let's keep scanning down to the xiphoid process part. We can then tilt to the right and left a little. We can see a curve at the bottom. This is a high brightness showing xiphoid process. I hope this is helpful for your practice. That's all for today's tutorial. I will see you in the upcoming videos.